Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mubarak and I welcome you to our ninth lecture of creating a complete hotel management system using a plain PHP, my SQL and uh, Bootstrap and HTML. So basic um, languages without any uh, framework and uh, by the time we finish this project, you will be good to, you will have, got, have, uh, you have got very good concepts of those uh, backgrounds in those technologies that I've mentioned to you. So as you know, we always do 40 minutes, so I'll start our timer and then I'll go straight to our today's lecture and then we start the business. So in the previous lecture, we were able to put here the room name and also put here the category. So we're going to proceed from there. So I'll open my project and then come here to i think i put here in functions the arrangement of my table my table so uh now we will proceed to uh to what to price so I'll get i'll cut this price text and then go to and then go to here and then go to room create where is room create room create it is here and then i'll go where there is name name i'll just duplicate this name i can just uh, copy and paste it or i can duplicate then i'm going to make this one to be next to the category so i can first put here the room uh price room price and then put here the name of the price i remove this autofocus because it's not required i make it that uh so the type so here i may need to specify the type so the type can be a number all right so i'll cut this and then i come and put it here so i make it a number so that um someone cannot be able to should not be able to type in uh text in the price so always remember to update here if it is room then it should be the room what a uh, room via price so let's go ahead and refresh so if we come here and refresh we shall have something like this so i have here the price so the price is a number i cannot be able to type there some text but if i put the number to be able to go there so you have here you put the room name you select the category and you put the what the price you might you may even make this a little bit uh for example the price is a smaller field there's no field that will be this big so i can make this one to be um I can remove here two and I make it to be two and then come and make one this one to be uh two as well. So how many is remaining? Uh, so I've removed a four. So this two four minus two is four. So if I come and add this four here, this can be eight. Okay. So the field of name will be longer. Or maybe I can make this one to be four and then this one to be uh four and make this one to be six, something like that. I think that's okay. So we shall have here a name, category, and the room uh, price, okay? So the price cannot be that much big. All right, so that is it. Uh, we proceed now. We're finished creating our first row of uh, this. You can pause the video and look at it very carefully so you can understand. So we proceed to another thing. We proceed to the status. What is the room status? Is it occupied? Is it, uh, is it vacant or something like that? It's going to be a drop down so i'll just simply come and uh, i'll just simply come and copy this i can just duplicate this very well and then come and paste here so i've just collapsed this column i mean this row and duplicate it here so status will be much more like a drop down so i can come here and co cut this uh this select okay and make it here the first okay the first all right so this is going to be name so i'll come here to my arrangement i cut the status I come and put here the name is going to be status so i can put here room status room status and then i make it required also uh so the room status i make sure that i put here the name to be status and then here the options i open an array and then the options uh one can be uh uh available uh available they make it available or i can make it maybe uh empty 
I don't know that should be free. I don't know occupied, not occupied. So okay, let's say uh vacant. Vacant, I hope that's the spelling, and then I make it so the room by default will be vacant. Then I put occupied and then um maintenance and then booked. Okay, well, let's put booked here. So maybe yeah, some room might be under maintenance. So if the room is in is under maintenance, we might not allow it to be used. So let's put uh vacant occupied. Let's make this one and then booked. Okay. So I can put here reserved. Okay, reserved is the right word. Alright, so that is the status of a room. So if we come and refresh here, see here we have a room status. So we have vacant, or it can be occupied, or it can be reserved. Alright, that's okay. That's fine. So we proceed to another thing. So the room photo. The room photo. So let's make this one three three so that they can balance. So I can make that so this one to be uh status okay status let's be let's be uh let this one be status let's be two and then three three or maybe okay let's make this one to be uh two okay let's the room status it is four here okay let's make four and then we make this one i don't know okay can i make this one to be five five i don't know let me see okay let's make it two so room status two is not fitting there let's make it three so here three it is okay reserved what and vacant so how many are remaining with the remaining with uh, nine which is not going to balance as well all right let's make it three 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 so i put here four i put here four i put here uh four that's fine so if i come and refresh shall have that so we shall have here the room status and then we put here the room name i mean sorry we're going to put here now the room what the room uh five main photo the main photo for the room okay so the main photo for the room so just simply come and copy this and say main photo i cut it and then i'll come here and say room uh i can put maybe main photo main photo main photo and then i come and make it here the name the name to be main photo the type to be file so make this one type to be file so it can be picking a file and then the value you don't need to put the value because it's a what it's a file but just for the time of, you can just put it here for the sake of but it's not going to do anything because it's a file so if i refresh so you shall have here a file picker room photo here room photo room photo main photo this one here. let me get the second here let us make it the second so this is the room photo Okay, that's the room photo, so we can be able to uh, pick a file from here. All right, so we pros we actually proceed to a uh, room gallery. So I just need to come and cut this room gallery. So let me just come and comment here, room gallery, and we see what Copilot will do for us. If I press enter, so it's going to say echo gallery. Let me go ahead and close this part. It's div. So you see here. Uh, so it's going to be gallery photos uh we're going to have the name which is gallery photos the, the type is file and then attribute this is what i wanted attributes multiple so you have to add attribute of multiple making sure i mean this will enable us to pick multiple what multiple photos and then you can put the value as gallery photos that's just an option so you save now if you be able to if refresh here you see that you'll be able to do what to pick multiple uh photos so maybe you can go ahead and add in attribute and say accept accept image like that you could, so this will be added there as a what as a parameter in the attributes so if i refresh here it will accept only images not accept things like pdf by the way we can also do the same here sorry uh we can do the same here in attributes and say accept images only all right so that is it that is it so if i come and refresh here i shall be able to pick image for this and then gallery photos for this however for gallery we make sure that we make it what we make it um multiple photos so we can be able to pick multiple photos add this one here in attributes all right we proceed we proceed to another thing so the photos are over we proceed to another thing so we come to the details room details going to be just a single 
uh, text area as we discussed so i'll come here and close this let me close that row okay let's close that row so we shall open another row just say div and give some class of what class of uh of row and then come and create here uh say details okay so it's going to be have a call 12 and then we close it like that let me explain this so we come in here we put text area input and then you say label is called room details the name is details the attribute is required and then we put a uh, value to be um to be what to be to be what to be to be to be details okay so if i come and refresh here you'll see that we have here our room what our room section where i can put the details can even be able to expand this one so if you want to put the if you want to increase the number of rows you can just simply come and put here and put here attribute and uh, increase the number of what the number of rows so simply say rows and then say equals two then open car bracket here and say maybe three and then you close here. So by doing so, you'll have like maybe more rows. Say for example, five. You'll have here more rows. You see, uh, something like that. All right, just keep them three for now, so you can have minimal things. However, you are, have ability to do what? To expand using this. Okay, you have ability to expand your text area using that. So this will be the room details. Is also required. Uh, we proceed. Uh, we proceed. Uh, we proceed to something else so we are going to create now another what another row for these three uh fields that is the rating uh the template and the, uh if the pets are allowed okay so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and do that so we shall just simply go ahead and uh, and we shall just simply go ahead and create another row here by saying div and then give it a class of what of call 12 of i mean sorry class of row and then go ahead and i can just come and duplicate uh -huh, i can come and uh, copy one of these guys here so let me copy for example this uh, just a text input so i'll come and uh, paste it here the whole this is a file let's pick let's copy that of a name so i'll come and copy this name text input okay with its respective div so here in the row i'll come and paste it here so you see there you go i'll come and put the so right now we are doing what we are putting the rating so the rating so shall come here and put here a uh, rating okay rating so uh we'll make it here the name is rating remove autofocus you can make it required by default and then we go ahead and put this uh rating here and then we put also type the type can be a number so someone can be able to enter the numbers only so right now if i go ahead and refresh you'll see that i'll have our rating there however we we'll need to reduce on the number of columns so we can make this one maybe to be three so it can be a little bit uniform so there we go so i make it maybe to be four something like that that's what i wanted to say so i make it to be four now uh after making it to be four so if i come and refresh you'll see I have here the section to enter the rating so after doing so we proceed to another thing so we proceed now to the template the template is going to be a drop down so you can just simply come and look for where we have a select for example this one here so let me just come and copy this okay uh that is room status okay uh, room status field i'll come and paste it here okay room status field so i'll just come and remove this and make it copy the field of template come and put here this is called template so i can say maybe room template or the template I shall be using so i make sure that uh, i come and make this one to be template and then we go ahead and put the templates that we shall be using to present a room so i can put for example template one template uh, uh, one and the template two and template three and template four all right so let's go ahead and put template one we we'll go ahead and put template two and template three i think that's enough if i save I come and refresh you'll see now i have the room template however we have broken something so this one has to be uh in between the row between this row 
right so i'll make this one also to be four so if i come and refresh you'll see that i'll have something like this so this is going to be a room template that is beautiful okay that is so beautiful so we can proceed we can proceed um we proceed uh we proceed we proceed we proceed so you go ahead and put text paste allowed put it allowed you can just make it a simple what a simple a simple um a simple a simple a simple a simple a simple what a simple if it's allowed you can make it a simple um a simple what a simple text input so i come here and put bits allowed if bits are allowed so if bits are allowed this will be just a simple text input all right that's that's okay which yeah, fits allowed something like that let me cut that and then come and uh, then come and put here the last as how we had agreed so we remain on our design like if fits allowed so someone will be able just to type in whether the fits allowed or not they come and refresh we'll see whether the fits allowed or not something like that all right so when we finish that when we finish that we proceed we proceed to uh, we proceed so that is done that is done the pets with allowed that is done so you can proceed now to uh to another thing to the check-in text so the check-in text you come and cut this one go ahead and put the check-in text so i'm going just to duplicate this uh i'll duplicate it and then come and uh, remove so i come and change this one and make this one to be uh check-in so it's going to be some text someone will be describing about the check-in information and make it also to be text and then uh i make sure that i put this one to be uh check-in okay so it can resume the values so if i refresh there you'll see now we have here the check-in input uh -huh, what else do we have uh we have um checkout uh so i'll come and remove this first it's a drop down and then we're going to duplicate this first one and make it a checkout checkout text all right checkout text then put this one to be checkout all right that's fine i'll come and refresh now we shall see how that checkout text there all right so after doing that uh we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and put now the if the pets allowed or not uh sorry <laughs> the, the checkout is done uh we go i will put special instructions okay a section for special instruction okay special instruction okay so we agreed that check in check out will be on one line so and there'll be text areas so let me first remove this guy here and uh, make this one to be a uh, text area input all right and make this one to be text area input and make this one to be a uh, three by three i mean sorry six by six so it can be in the middle two on a row so that's the design that we agreed upon so if i come and refresh here you'll see here i have the check-in text and here the checkout text all right we proceed to another thing uh when that is done uh we proceed to another thing we proceed to another thing so once that one is done we proceed to special instructions so special instructions come here put special instructions uh so special instructions sorry so instructions are going to be just one on uh, i mean they're going to be also two on what on uh, on a, in a row so they're going to be much more like uh, this one so i'll come and duplicate this guy duplicate it and then come and copy these special instructions i'll come and put it here special instructions come and say here it is special instructions and i'll make it required and i'll come and put the up special instructions all right so we proceed to the children so children text 
this is just someone be writing about children policy uh children i come and put your children and then also put your children i save i come and refresh uh everything is okay everything is beautiful all right yeah it is beautiful you proceed to another thing you proceed to another thing so that is done so you have here all the functions are done all right we proceed now to the anonymity these are going to be just uh check boxes i don't know how this template handles checkbox let's 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 try let's try and see let's try and see uh so i will come and just i'll just come and uh, maybe copy this okay i'll copy this row okay i'll come and paste here in the bottom okay come and post here in the bottom okay and then come and cut this amenities maximum people amenities maximum people we said it will be uh, a text it will be a text so let's go ahead and make this one to be a tremendous many text maximum amenities maximum people this will be a text someone will be able to take to type in there so let me make this one dot a text so if i come and refresh you shall have just a simple text where someone will be uh, typing about the maximum uh, individuals choose the room uh we proceed to wi-fi so wi-fi is going to be a checkbox let me see if copilot can help me here so let me remove this and remove this so i put here i mean it is wi-fi i say checkbox so if i press enter yeah we need to create an input for checkbox uh yeah i need to create an input for checkbox all right let's see uh let's go to our functions and then try to create it so I come to functions and then come here and see if we can create it uh press enter see if copilot will compose it for us all right Coppola has done it for us you don't need again to have so maybe i can just explain it let's see what we've got Pilot did not help us. Mm. Let's see anyway. Let's first see our template. How they do this with the with the check boxes and see if we can borrow there some idea. Um where are the forms? Form element input basic input Okay, it's over time. Let's make it to select. Let me undo all that. Okay, so I'll come here and put 
Wi-Fi. <coughs> and make this one to be Wi-Fi and I'll put a yes or no. Yes or no. Come and refresh here. Shall have Wi-Fi, yes or no. Wi-Fi, yes or no. Can I just keep it as simple as that? Um, and then wasting much of our time there. Uh, so we finish Wi-Fi, we come and put... Uh, we come and put what? Parking. It's going to be a yes or no too. All right. Yes or no, just the same thing. All right, so we go ahead and put breakfast. It's gonna be a yes or no as well. All right, so now if I come and refresh here, You'll see there are two minutes, so let's make them three three. So I'll put here three three three. Save, come and refresh. Everything is beautiful. All right, three three three. Yeah, they have to fit there. This one has to be also three. All right, so if you come and refresh, everything is beautiful everything is beautiful okay 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 so we proceed uh we proceed we proceed to the last section which is the towels and the rest so let's go ahead and create our div of another row so i'll cut this create another div i can put those on there okay and then go ahead and create a div of a row that's going to contain those ones. A copilot has done it for me, so you can also do it by yourself. So you can just see how I've done it. Okay, just a row and those ones. All right, so I save now. Our form is done. If I refresh, everything is fine. Everything is fine now. Everything is fine. So, okay, we, we can proceed now. We can proceed to submission. Yes, let's submit, proceed to submission. All right, so first of all, our room is, I mean, our action is going to be take, submitted to the same thing, which is room create. Uh, room create. So, I'll come here to the room create. Where is room create? Let's room, let's, uh, I mean, to actions. Actions, we come to actions, and it's going to submit to the same point. So, you may not need for, to specify here. All right, so now let's go ahead and do the logic of submission. Uh, so I'll come here on top. So here I check if the, if it's post method, and then we start doing uh, <coughs> some simple validation. If the name is provided, if the template is provided, <coughs> then we go ahead and collect the image. So the image here, we did not name it a photo. So uh, here we did name it. We name it main photo, something like that main photo okay so we come on top and then change this one to main photo something like that right let's call this one main photo so we put here main photo all right main photo main photo main photo let's just we change this variable so we can remain uh, on the right thing so you can make this one main photo main photo so i'll check here if the main photo is not null i go ahead and update the main photo all right, so this is in case when we are editing. Remember, this is in case when you're editing, okay? So let me collapse this the edition section, okay? And then I come here to the section of what? Of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, let me go to the section of what? Of, uh, of inserting data into the database. Uh, now, you can see I have some kind of repetition. Let me just die here. Let me just die here and I show you something. So, I can just simply say echo. Let me say echo. And say echo. Say printer. 
free tag and let's say print and say die okay let me die okay let me just print the, the post and say die so here we shall know that we are this level of submitting so let's go ahead and do that so i'll come and refresh and then i'll use my fake filler to fill in that data i've already explained to you what's meant by fake filler a pack a plug a, a google chrome extension that will help you to auto fill the big form so you see click here to automatically randomize and put there some dummy data for you let's go ahead and select here some image come here to my downloads and then get here some image you get here some image some image get the most latest here must be having some image all right let me take this one so i select that one let's write submit so when i submit you see you're at that level everything is beautiful everything is beautiful uh so at this point now we want now to insert this data into the database okay so i was thinking that uh, since everything that is coming from the form is having the names that are correlating to the names in the database so i was wondering that what if we can just pass that as how it has come from the form after the validation we just pass it directly and proceed and make it proceed to the database i thought that that is uh, can help us to make our life easier other than again copying each of these ones all right however sometimes we need to you might have some some columns <coughs> that are not going to be relevant uh to the database okay and yet you're uploading so in that case you might need to have to do what to to first check if the column is existing or not okay also maybe here the only challenge is uh all right, let's go one by one. Let's go one by one because this one can confuse you at this moment. Okay, it can confuse you. All right, let's copy one by one, one by one. But that is so painful. Let me just come here and put everything that we want. I put it here. So the name has come. We put there the name, uh, her room ID so i come and remove this and put the room id i mean room category id price i go ahead and put the uh, price and don't forget the main photo all right so don't forget the main photo main photo main photo is it uh main photo all right don't forget that because that one you know it is being uh uploaded separately and then you get its link separately so let's go ahead and put also the main image the main photo uh it's tiresome but let's face it so uh we see there the room has not selected the room status i don't know why room status let's try to check that field room status it is required but was not selected okay you're going to figure why that has happened all right we're going to figure why that has happened let's first finish this one all right so we go ahead and select and can select the details put here details all right we go ahead let me put this one on top so i can just be putting it on top there we go ahead and put the maintenance doesn't matter the arrangement for the maintenance i mean the ac uh put the gym and then put the um, swimming pool put the towels put the okay put the breakfast go ahead and put them uh the packaging the packing sorry we go ahead and put the the wi-fi go ahead and put that i wanted just to automate this <laughs> so our life can be the, but there's a way how i can do that that uh let me just do it manually all right uh ta -ra -ra -ra. Ta -ta -ta. 
Chicken time, chicken time. Check out. Mm hmm. And then children. Children, special instructions. So the room gallery we shall fill again a bit later. So special instruction put here. Special instructions. So everything is okay. Now let's try to insert there the data. So here I'm just inserting the data just as, as it has come. Okay. So if I save, so you can see here room created success, not room categories. And then we shall direct the user to admin what? Admin room Z dot PHP. All right. That's what I shall admit to the user. Admin rooms that we hope that is there all right so i hope you are together here i'm just inserting data in the instance of creating i have not looked at the instance of editing okay so let's save let's save let's refresh submit all right unknown unknown column call this one pa parking amenities parking so parking why is it not in the database Oh yeah, so you see the mistake here. It's supposed to be rooms, not room categories. Beautiful. All right, so let's save, let's refresh here. Uh, data too long for swimming pool. So swimming pool is going to be having how many? Swimming pool. What's why is it too long for swimming pool? So it to be a true and false. Oh. All right. Uh, ta -da -da. For this case, you can just go ahead and increase the length of swimming pool. So, tail pro, because of that fake filler. So, come to rooms, structure, swimming pool, and then make it yeah, maybe to five. All right let's refresh so beautiful room created successfully and has taken us back here to uh room list room created successfully and has taken us to the room list all right so let's go ahead and uh, display here the rooms instead of categories all right so you can see that it is that simple that simple man it is that simple all right so let's proceed and display here the rooms instead of room categories uh so i'll just simply i'll just simply go ahead and come to admin rooms where is it admin rooms admin room admin rooms admin rooms where is it admin rooms out and enter admin dash rooms here it is and then i uh, will go ahead here where we are selecting the room categories uh where, where is this one db select you see so let me check this one to uh, rooms, okay? Rooms. So and this one going to be maybe select rooms, okay? In the room, in the rooms file. Uh, so now I'll come here and loop. So here we're going to have maybe the room name. Let's just begin by just displaying. Uh, simply, let's maybe put the price. Let's see if compiler can do for us something. So I have the name, price. Only important things the image something like that. Okay, let's put just we shall we shall we shall see what to put there exa exactly okay let's put the price but we shall come and make it better let's put the maybe the the status the booking status and let's put maybe the category all right something like that all right so here we shall come and put the name put here price uh -huh, so the here instead of having photo we put the word main photo as we just did the other side this side main photo so main photo we display it there okay main photo like this all right so the details remain the details so maybe you can put here maybe price and then instead of putting details we're going to just status so let's come put here status the third column so put status room status uh yeah i think that's enough that's enough for us to get started with so if i come and refresh you see uh what is this complaining number 99 
number 99 okay we're supposed to look through rooms okay maybe we can call this an also room instead of category let's call it the room 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 instead of categories all right you call it room so i'm looking through rooms so let's go ahead and refresh everything is beautiful even the picture has come that is so nice even the picture itself has come up in the picture here this is the picture with its unique name that is totally unique that's beautiful right it is beautiful now let's work on the edit logic as we work on the gallery as well okay at the room galleries uh so let's go ahead and close our time is up let's see if we can finish the edit at once and then the next lecture we just focus on the what on the gallery so edit um edit 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 all right let's begin from there in the next lecture the next lecture will begin with edit and then focus on gallery that's what we shall do in the next, the next lecture but however you can try edit on your own you should not be spoon fed you can try to work on the same logic and try to try see if you can do edit on your own so by the time I release the next video, or by the time you hit the next video, you are already there. Or you have already challenged yourself. Alright, that's it for us today. Uh, let's meet in the next lecture. We are going to upload the multiple photos. Work on the photo deletions. And mastering the room on the administrator side. Administrator side. If time will allow, we shall now start approaching the front end or the main website so don't be don't miss in the next lecture and have a nice day goodbye see you sink in the comment hello share the github yes the github is there if you go to the video playlist and you go to the video description of this hotel management system you'll find the github link just click there you'll be able to get the basics of the source code i'm not sharing this whole source code but i'm sharing the basics so i see another comment hey man how are you doing i'm doing good didn't you learn with the help of the video tutorials mm, i learned with the help of videos i also watch tutorials but I practiced a lot. I watched tutorials uh, to learn PHP. However, I also learned some other things uh, from the university. Yeah, I learned most of things from the university. All right, guys. Um, if you want to learn more, just go to my channel. Click on the playlist. You'll find different playlists. So from those playlists, you'll be able to uh to get all the details that you want even the github links of the source code all right guys uh goodbye see you in the next lecture